AJ. AJ, what's up, brother? How the hell are you? The countdown. T minus, yes. Why is that fucking stupid looking? Hey, Cindy, what's up there, Cindy baby? Cindy baby! Got a little tune going on here. I'm back for more. Let's go! Lara, proud Viking Cindy, see Walker in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a special Friday edition of... <laughs> a banana to shove up my ass after the show. <laughs> they don't got brown spots because it's fucking old. <laughs> Packing and house hunting still. Oh, I wish you the best of luck. That does stink on rye. I'm trying to like get this where you can see the good but not the bad. I should have done that before I started the fucking show. Wouldn't that be right? Oh, yes, welcome indeed. Ariane, Mr. C, what's up, pal? How the fuck are you? Banana soup! Oh, God, where is soup, that fucking poor bastard? Yes, welcome to Hot Stuff Nutritional Presents, Muscle Sport Radio, today on a Friday. Red Dot Army, are you guys really in Australia? I just saw your post as I was getting ready to go live. And that's the Muscle Sport mag that I fucking publish, and Young T. Renee is on the next cover. Raw Rod. Fitness Beto, are you like Scott Beto? <laughs> I know it's Scott Beto, I'm joking. We joke around a lot in this fucking, uh, in this company. This family. Oh, uh, but how does that mic work? Is it swear? You're so sleepy. Why? Were you a fucking that gorgeous wife of yours all night? Tongue in her fucking anal canal? Because I know that's what I would do. Nature Boy Rick Flaherty. Hey, Steiner, what's up? Big C Flex. That's not Big C Green. That's Big C Flex. Bringing Red Dot to Australia. Now, I know you guys are in Hawaii, but what's going on in Australia? Is this some kind of, like, fucking war games or something? Hook up a Lee Priest while you're there. Too bad. I get all the fire. Hey, for the family, the mama, Sam. Yes, don't fuck with the family. You darn tootin'. A few asses, Lit. Ate a few a A few asses? Or do you mean you ate her ass a few times? Or are you allowed to eat other ass with her knowledge? And that would be even better. Imagine if she partook in that as well. <laughs> if, just seeing Thea come would make me come. Imagine her coming from a girl making her come. <laughs> Lee Priest is pro red dot. So are we. This is a pro red dot company. The Red New Deal. <laughs> Working hard to prep before Norway's Oslo Expo. Do you want to walk around looking buff like those fucking juice monkeys at the fucking Arnold? Those fans want Nick DSTD update. I know, I got to touch base with the kid. Granny Figs, I summoned thee. The 13th this month. So that's a big uh, expo in Norway. Who good? Who When are you getting red dot MSM shirts? We can make our own. We just put them on our girlfriend's pussies. The ones that still fucking have pussy blood. Not the middle-aged, older fucking ladies. The ones that I like. All them young bucks like you guys like. Hey, Joe, I just came off from doing cardio, like you said. There you go, who good? Claws. And have only good carbs with your last meal of the day, at whatever time that may be. And no carbs after that dinner, or whatever you want to call it. Some people have a late dinner because of their work schedule. I've been eating cereal out of the box for dinner at 8, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night because of my, uh, my fucking weird fucking uh, uh, life right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not only eating carbs. I do not practice what I preach is what I'm trying to say. Eddie Rowan, what's up, pal? I do not practice what I preach. Not only am I eating carbs later at night, I'm eating shit carbs, like fucking Fruit Loops with marshmallows last night. It's a new cereal that we bought, and I liked it, <laughs> and I ate it. Fuck it, I didn't care. Then I get here today, and the fucking Wi-Fi is on the fritz. Let me tell you something. 
I'm mad! <laughs> Joe, you know the red dots some Indians have. Do they have that because they're advertising me? Pro red dot, pro, pro Trump. <laughs> All of the above. Ariana. Red dot your wife last night. <laughs> sure, surely you jest. Oh, man. Mike, when I talk about a dry spell, it's like of epic proportions right now. Just... It, no interest in sex. Not me. <laughs> I have interest in sex right now. I want to shut this thing off and go right on Pornhub. But, uh, you know, Trump is pro red dot. Really? All right. I had no idea. I, n I never looked. <laughs> hey, fucking, here he is. Big J Masters in the house. Big J with that fucking shower room thing. I was waiting to see a fucking glory hall wall there. <laughs> It's not necessarily a bad thing to be hypocritical. I mean, it's a good thing. Murderer says, murder is wrong. Don't do it. I'm going to close. I love you. <laughs> oh, I want you to fucking, me and you to hang out and do this drunk one night. We'll have a pizza. I think I've been on a few months apart from busting ass for the last week. Ray is red dotted. Yes, we all know as we've all seen his dick. <laughs> During certain times of the month, my girlfriend leaves a red dot propaganda on my dick. <laughs> Was there glory holes in that truck stop? <laughs> I'm sure you've seen your fair share of fucking faggots at truck stops looking to fucking either suck or get sucked. <laughs> and I hope you beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> Use a wrench across their fucking forehead. Yeah, yeah, I'll blow you. I'll blow your fucking head off. The left is trying to make it illegal to red dot boys at birth. The left is a bunch of cunts, that's why. Jay, join the live. Yes, Jay, Raw Rod request, and I agree. I, anytime Jay is on the show is a good time. And Flo, down for Red Bay. Jared's Journey. What's up, Jared's Journey? I'm getting sick. That's why my voice sounds like I got, I got a little bit of like that little little Cindy Brady sniffles, see? And I'm not sniffing cocaine or a girl's ass. I'm sniffing my own fucking boogers back in. Every man should be red dotted. I agree. And last guy I blew... Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I didn't mean that. Brother Jared, the mass monster. Gay bashing is wrong, Joe. Yes, that's why I want to do it. <laughs> I don't care. I'm a fucking asshole. <laughs> Alessio, get goes away. <laughs> Here he is, my fucking, my greaseball fucking brother from the other day. Alessio was cool as fuck hanging out at Strongly Shapely Gym with young Gregorio and myself. I gotta edit those fucking videos, man. I just have... I barely had a chance to scratch my nuts, man. And then I get here today, and the fucking Wi-Fi is fucking dicking it in the ass. And I'm like, I'm going to kill someone. <laughs> it might just be myself. The one time I ate my girl out on a rag, just, only once, bro, I like eating fucking rag. It gives it a little flavor. It's like it's like having, Alessio, it's, isn't it kind of like when you when you're, like, you know when you're making the gravy and a little bit of it burns on the end of the pot and that gets stuck in the gravy? It's kind of like that. It's like, you know, like, like, you know, it's like fucking dry blood. <laughs> if Trump loses, boys can't be red dotted but can kill newborns. <laughs> I know, think about that. Fucking infanticide. <coughs> it really is amazing. Like, it's a baby boy. Mom, would you like this baby to live or not? And that is not, I am not joking. That is exactly how they explain. The, the mother will then make a decision, will make the baby comfortable, and then make it, that's disgusting, fuck. Well, let me tell you something. I, I, I don't want to say any names, but I know someone that um, worked right next to the abortion clinic in a, a medical facility, and many times heard babies crying and then not crying. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you? <laughs> they can, sometimes they're born alive <laughs> and the doctors kill them. <laughs> it's not a lie. It's not a lie, bro. 
Why did this thing fucking freeze? You know, my fucking computer, because it is fucking, and I have my phone on LTE. I'm going to report myself for enjoying this. There you go. Come on, you never ate a bloody cunt. <laughs> Yet the left says we're savages who want to red dotting our sons. It's a sick world. Yes, and I am a sick host. <laughs> oh, there she is, Miss TK herself. There's Tiffany. I want to give her a big hug and a kiss, but she's married and so am I. So we're forbidden lovers. That's what we are. Remember that song? Who's old enough to remember that song? That was a good song you used to try to fuck to in the fucking car. <laughs> Didn't they say it doesn't matter when the kid's born even? A full night? Yes, a regular birth. Aw, oh, LOL. Mm. Oh, you. <laughs> You're the man, Joe. You're the man. Thanks for less. <laughs> oh, Secret Love. You remember that song? I, I, I always tried to drop loads to that because I, I always thought that maybe it got girls a little horny because it was like, you know, you, you, it's like, even if you weren't secret lovers, if it was like your girlfriend, uh, it, it kind of made it a little like dirty. Like, so, yeah. <laughs> As I slurped my girlfriend's asshole in the backseat of my 1972 Ford Gran Torino. <laughs> I know it for, for that, if it's already born. Infanticide, they want to sell the body parts. Man, this fucking Democrats are really fucking douchebags, bro. <laughs> that's very considerate of them. Unfo everything is, what is this? Unfortunately, that's the new word in the Genova verse. <laughs> Hands upper cunt, what is that? A hat on? That looks like fucking, uh, what's his name with the hat? Who's my buddy there? Fucking, <laughs> that, was that guy from Europe. Hey, Wolfpack, woo! <laughs> hey, there he is, fucking Todd. Todd, look, I'm still wearing it. I still got it, baby. <laughs> ZZ, ZZ, Dadas, Ty Stocks. What's up there, Ty? Are you related to Tony Stocks? I don't know, otherwise known as Iron Man. <laughs> Benny Hill. Is that Benny Hill? Oh shit, I used to love the Benny Hill show. And in England, they used to show fucking tit and that. But on Channel 9 here, they used to fucking only show the bras. If you're cheating, if you're thinking of your cousin, would you be your girl? Thinking of your cousin, that's dirty. The truth is, they want to have harvest stem cells. They're fucking completely morally backwards and morally bankrupt. I think, I think they are fucking just. Douchebags, I can't, I can't waste the read. Hey, Rich Penner, what's up, pal? I don't know who you're talking about, Dennis. Dennis Quo, I've seen a study that said men with high optimal testosterone levels are more inclined to pound out BBWs. You think there's any truth to that? Well, I used to like to fucking bang out fat broads when I was a, a, a drunk. <laughs> and I wasn't on juice then. I don't know what my levels were. Nobody tested levels back then. You know, in the 80s and 90s, you just, you know, you, you, you were, uh, I mean, I was in my 20s and 30s. So I just figured my, my levels were whatever. Fat girls give the best head. Yes, and they fucking eat your asshole like an animal. I don't care how ugly a chick is. A tongue in your ass feels great. <laughs> fat girls work for it. And let me tell you something. If you eat a girl out, a fat girl, a cunt and ass, she'll fucking treasure you. If we go out, can we listen to 80s music? And you're going to just be some guinea cunts. <laughs> yes. <coughs> BBW, yes. I love... <coughs> I'm sitting, I'm sitting, I'm getting sick. I need, I need a fucking nurse to come here and check me for a hernia with her mouth. <laughs> BB's a pro rectal. Fat girls are the best to keep you warm in the winter and give you shade in the summer. Ugly is the new beautiful. Let me tell you something though. I used to have a couple of little, like steady fucking like you know like gumada fat broads and if there was nothing else in the fucking disco, <laughs> I would leave with them. You're a nurse. I didn't know you were a nurse for real. <laughs> Your husband's on the air. Stop. You're getting yourself in trouble. <laughs> oh, I would bend over for you in two seconds. <laughs> and then I would bend you over. <laughs> I have no problem with a, a girl that's... Even I like female bodybuilders 
And I also, I'll, I'll look at like some pictures of like fat girls and they'll turn me on too. I have no, like, ooh, I don't like that girl. She doesn't, I don't like that type. It does nothing for me. I can't fucking on the couch for tonight. For her. You're going to fuck her on the couch? <laughs> and the dog will lick the wet spot. I hate when my dogs do that. <coughs> it's been a while, but, you know, I do remember that. <coughs> Connection skip yesterday when you... <coughs> Wait, hold on a second. Your most shameful fuck. I don't remember what I said. Oh, God, who got a clause? I forget. Fat girl with a pretty face and nice hair, and they then they're wearing, like, they have, like, the nice nails, and they scratch your balls with them. It's fucking great. Joe is spending the night. <laughs> oh, I'll go. A toothless Indian. That's fucking great. Oh, I saw Kim over there. Guess what tonight is, fellas? Fit Chicks Chat with Kim and Crystal. Crystal and Kim. And I will be watching, and I think, I think I'm going to get turned on. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a gut feeling. I have a feeling they're going to say something that's going to make my dickhead tingle. <laughs> oh, the pig pool. Yes. Yes. On the, um, my, it was uh, uh, my friend Satch. His nickname was Satch. Uh, you, any of you guys remember the Bowery Boys, the East Side Kids? There was a guy named Satch, and he had this, like, goofy hat. And my friend Richie, he was an undercover with me, and he used to wear this hat. Uh, when we used to go out to buy drugs, and he used to, it was a Satch hat, so his nickname became Satch. So Satch's bachelor party, there was 17 of us total, and we went on a four-day, three-night cruise from uh, Florida to the Bahamas. Uh, so every guy chipped in 10 bucks a head, so the pool was $160, because uh, the 17th guy, uh, counting your own, it's 170 but I think you understand that. Um, I like to get at least a bet that you'll get turned on. I want to double that bet. <laughs> so the first night there, I fucked this big fucking fat girl. I think she was from Minnesota. Um, I actually did really well that night. I actually fucked two girls. <laughs> she was my second. And I'm even more proud that I was able to come because I already had banged before that and shot a load. And now maybe an hour or two later... And then I fucked this fat girl, and I came, and I showed my friend Jimmy, who's black, by the way, Jimmy, Ryan. And there was a couple of us that were black on the thing. It was all a lot of cops. Um, so, uh, so I said, I won the pool. We will talk a lot of pussy. Ooh, I want to smell it. <laughs> Could we get smell iPhones to smell out? Uh, I sent, <laughs> I gotta do a fucking, I gotta do a, a meme of that. Um, so fucking, uh, come and see So I go, I won the fucking pig pool, and my friend Jimmy Ryan goes, yo, fucking Joe, no fucking way, man, how do, it's the first night. And I go, I bang that, and I came. And you know, there's like, on the, on the carnival cruises, there's like two decks, uh, so we were above the other one, and they're all laying by the fucking pool, and there's this big fucking fat broad, and she's wearing, <laughs> my friend Jimmy goes, this fat bitch was wearing a shirt that said Palm Beach, she was as big as Palm Beach, he goes, I gave motherfucking Joey my money right there, <laughs> that's when I took the money, and I had a, um, we had like a three hour layover in the airport, and I just threw it on the bar, and we drank with everybody's money, I wasn't gonna keep it, <laughs> it was a goof money. So I threw 160 bucks on the bar, and everybody had beers. I banged a semi-blind girl once. I don't think I've ever done a, um, a disabled, like, I, like you know, I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean, like, even like I, I, I said, oh, I know this girl has a blind deaf. I, I've never, not that I'm aware of. I know you guys are going to take the division. Wait for you when you guys are back healthy. You'll see. Uh, are you talking to Kephas about the Chankies? The Chankies, man. Yeah, Keith saw a boring game. Two to one fucking American League game. That's bad. <laughs> National League, that's good. <laughs> Do they have to have teeth? What, to win the big pool? Too low is done for the season? Oh, no. You know I like that signing a lot. I told you that when they picked him up. I've always liked him. And then they got him for a song. Because uh, the other fuckers were paying Colorado was paying, not Colorado, Toronto. Joe, would you bang it down syndrome? No, no, 
I, I don't have to even read the rest of it. I wouldn't do that. I have I have a very very small amount of morals. That's one of them. Kessler wrote to fuck. Let me see. I go. What are you talking about? You're getting me horny. Do they have to have teeth to fuck? No, but they can give you. We used to get gum jobs uh, from the prostitutes in the city. Not for the season. Oh, okay, good. Not full blown. What AIDS? <laughs> Too low calf strain. Ten day DL. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the thing. He's fragile now. He's got so many, uh, <laughs> oh my God, Joe. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> we used to lock up the gum jaw broads. I never, I, see, I told you, I don't like prostitution. Rub and tug's all right. Full-fledged, pull up to the fucking curb. Hey, baby, beep, beep, bad girls, like the Donna Summer song. That's not a turn on. I don't even think I can come wearing a fucking mitten on my dick. It just won't work. Kim, see you tonight. Ooh. Kephas, you know Kephas is going to fucking get pre-cum fucking stains in his boxes. <laughs> Pay for sex is good for the military. I will say, Mike, military, you don't know when your last day on earth is. I have no qualms with that. I have a special treat. Ooh, it's okay, we're paying for too low for you guys. Yes, the Toronto Blue Jays. What What if there was a girl who had the same personality of Genova, not Down Truman, but... If, okay, if, I, if it could be confirmed she didn't have a uh, Down well autism or whatever you want to call it if I knew for a medical fact I would fuck her that's different I must be picky I won't even bang an Asian and you guys talking about banging retards <laughs> Asians yeah I, I never really had the opportunity I never had the opportunity it just it, it, there wasn't a lot of them around in my world I have no problem with them. They probably are, you know, they're sexy. I've jerked off to them on, on videos. Jason Genova is not dumb. No. He, he's, I, I think he's an extortionist without even having knowledge of it. He doesn't even realize he's doing it, which I think is bad because he would do it twice as fucking good. He gets over on everybody, including me. <laughs> but I had to fucking put him, I had to tell him, no, I, you know, I, Jason, I don't care how bad you hate your job. I'm not paying you. He wanted me to like hire him and pay him a monthly salary and stuff. And we actually tried to do some videos and stuff, and it just it just didn't work out. I said, Jason, I can't pay you if you can't do a fucking one minute long video. You know, I just can't do it. I don't have the fucking extra cash. <laughs> they think we're running some kind of charity here, Rock. Fucking, I tell you, break this guy's thumb. A sexy, curvy Jap, you would do it. Of course he would. How about rubbing tugs, Jay? You never went to a rubbing tug? Those are great. You're saying you're buying a assembly mental child, like someone whose parents might be brother and sister. As long as I know that she's not a retard, I would, hey, didn't do nothing. Jimbo James, what's up? If Jason Genova smashes a Down Syndrome girl, would it be frowned upon or would it be okay? It actually would be like a um, cross-complaint. Both of them could be arrested for fucking rape. Uh, you can't consent even if you are old enough if you have a mental disability. You know, if you fuck a girl who's drunk, you could be locked up for rape third degree. And I shit you not. Someone cannot give consent for sex if they're under the influence of alcohol or drugs. So that means every one of us would be in, the jails would be full than that fucking Mexican border with all of those fucking animals being fucking held. <laughs> Jason can consent. Come on, bro. He knows with that. I know, but I'm just telling you, if he has a medical diagnosis of having um, autism, which he does, if both are drunk, it could be, it, basically it's, it's it, I'm just giving you legalese. It, it's not going to, it doesn't happen. I would be in jail for life if that was the case. <laughs> I'll be your cellmate. Maybe we can fuck. <laughs> Bipolar disorder. You know, um, if they're on medication and stuff like that, it, it, it really, it's not like, it's really, nut jobs can fuck. But retards can't fuck, is what I'm trying to say. Hey, Gav, what's up, pal? Think women who say they were rape proven whose law they should go to prison. You know what? It's falsifying a police report for that. I haven't banged a drunk bitch in years. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Agree. Crazy. It is, it is, um, 
It's weird, but that's how the law was written. And I think the reason why it was written like that, it was because guys take advantage of girls like by slipping the mickeys and shit like that. So I'm not saying the law books were written you know, f with Mickey's in mind, because Mickey's probably didn't exist by then. No, Mickey Mouse did. Um, equal rights. Bullshit. Do you know that a girl cannot be charged with rape? Legally. Well, I guess nowadays, if you consider somebody a girl, but he has a dick, he could be. Um, but you cannot be charged with rape as a female. It would be sodomy or anything like that. If I'd smash girls at clubs, they asked me to take them home, I would not. You don't need Alec. You got your wife is a fucking a uh, gem. Would you bang a girl similar looking to Ariana's biggest fans picture? No, because it looks like a guy. There's no, there's the Mister No Homo. What's wrong with you? This is a yes homo program. <laughs> Joe, would you rather fuck not job retard as you put it, or would you rather be virgin, virgin until the day your dick completely stops working? Um, I, I, you see, then what am I gonna do? Like fucking bang a girl and then go to jail because she's a retard and then get raped in jail? I don't know. That's a tough one, man. Uh, if I know I can never get laid, I, it's I have to fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> it might be worth the collar. <laughs> that was years ago. Oh, okay. I don't. Need, I don't need to slip a chick anything cracked. <laughs> Virgin, I know what you meant. It's it's the fucking auto fucking contract. <laughs> cr cr crazy walk in the house with Gav. <laughs> Huga is my mentor. But yes, um, yes, fucking. Um, I actually had a case one time where a guy was doing the right thing. A girl was on the subway coming home. And she was obviously passed out uh, and coming from a club. You know, she was decked out. Would you fuck a girl that used to be a dude? And I'm totally aware of that fact, but she's been anatomically changed to a girl. But it was a guy. Like, it has a vagina now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> But I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, fuck a, a tranny with a dick in the ass. To me, that's fucking, uh, uh, it's a male. The, 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 the pussy in the back of a man. 28 days old, how many times a week days should I be dropping, be blowing loads? One a day, at mi minimum. I got to run. I'm excited to work with you next week. Oh, Kimmy, I'm excited. <laughs> no one's more excited than me. Oh, tonight, Kim Haynes, Crystal Wildfire, 8 o'clock on Crystal's channel. Fit Chicks Chat. Kimmy, thank you. I'll see you later, sweetie. If Chernobyl makes 40 bucks a week at Publix, maybe you could pay him the weekly amount. <laughs> Big Rob hitting on Latina chicks. He also asked the woman in the Tampa section what pad. Oh, my God. Are you serious? He ad asked the girl what you what pad. Listen, I'm the last guy with the Me Too shit. But if it gets Rob in trouble, I'll be the biggest fucking Bella Abzog woman's rights. <laughs> fucking jerk off that Rob. Oh, my God. It, my family did not want to go to the Arnold. J Live, 7 New York City time. 8 o'clock New York City time for the girls. Is Jay going live an hour before that? That's a great two hours of fucking TV then, man. Um, but, yeah, this guy, like, are you okay? And she's like, uh, and then she actually, like, you know, started hitting him. And uh, promo code, well, it's just go to hotstuffnutritionals.com and tell them you saw it on Muscle Sport Radio. Their prices are already fucking good. Um, so they fucking, um, this guy, he fucked her like crazy the whole night. And then in the morning, he wanted some fucking breakfast in bed. And he wanted to put his dick in her. And now she's sobered up and's like, what are you doing? Who are you? And where am I? And guess what? She filed a fucking police report. It got knocked down to fucking uh, sexual misconduct. But it wasn't my case. It was my friend's... Uh, uh, I forget this kid's name. It was his case, but I remember uh, talking to the guy on the phone, and I'm like, dude, you're getting fucking raw-dogged on this one, but it's the law. I mean, we can't fucking shit-can it. She is being adamant about arresting. Almost juck in that shit any good... What, this or this? Hot stuff, this is great, bro. Get the banana flavor. Banana. And this is what I'm drinking now, Amptaminos. 
So I'm amped and I got aminos in me. It is crazy. That is fucked up. Lally Gaga, yo, what's up, Mark? Well, how you been, buddy? That's fucked. It is. Listen, I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm not saying that I, I think that it's it's the right thing. I think it's terrible. But, um, I mean, the, the law shouldn't, it shouldn't read that. I, I don't think it should read that. I think it's, uh, a, 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 I guess they're trying to say she can't consent if she's fucking bombed out of a fucking cunt, you know? You know my flavor. I'm doing okay, Larry. I'm doing okay. I'm here. I'm having fun on a Friday. We bump this show from Monday through Friday because there's this hot stuff. Nutritionals. Maybe we'll, we'll put that there. Look at that. Kephas, how's that look? Kephas is going to do the fucking, the, the editing on this later. Um, but, yeah, that is a little bit of a fucking uh, a dick, fucking uh, dick in the ass if that happens. But just be aware. Like I said, be aware. And it doesn't matter if both of you are drunk. Trust me, it's a woman's world when it comes to the fucking law and rape. <laughs> you don't have a prayer, sir. <laughs> Do another big run. <coughs> Hit that high note. Ah, let me think. <clears throat> it's hard with my throat all fucking full of fucking seminal fluids. Um, hey, Cassidy. I, it was a great show, you gotta admit. I hate him. This is bothering me up here now. I hate him when he drinks with the straw. Right? It was a great show. But it was a great show. No, I, I didn't go. My family didn't want me to go. stop! My family didn't want me to go. Avocado! I am the real wankster. I'm an I ain't got shit on me. I'm the real bad jamma. Who's a J. Cream fan? <laughs> His latest column going in the next issue with Thea on the cover is all about his rap career. <laughs> Send me the hot stuff. No gay intended. Well, you ain't getting nothing unless I get S. <laughs> Hotstuffnutritionals.com. This one's empty. <laughs> I already used this. This is a prop now. <laughs> I would love for my friend Paul to send me more. I use that shit like a champ. Genova basically has two lines. I think Genova is a good rapper. It's sick as piss is joining. He believes it as well. Ish, my Jamil. I can't even fucking. Hey, what's up there, big guy? It's funny. He's Arab, but he has the whitest voice. Who, Big Rob? He's got like a Midwest voice. But he was born here, though. He wasn't born in, uh, in fucking, uh, you know, Sandville. <laughs> in San Nutellaville. <laughs> Felipe! How's Florida, Felipe? It's shitty out here today. Supposed to be nice tomorrow. Lala and hemp. <laughs> Crystal baby. And Jim Gang, Ohio. Yo, what's up, Ohio? Thank you. Ohio's got some good comments. I appreciate the fucking backup. Uh, we like him, but he is still ways away. Crystal just woke up. She works crazy hours. And I like I like the new uh, the new Avatar picture with the MSM shirt and them fucking huge fucking cans. Uh, let me see. I gotta see what Alec. Tell me if I'm wrong here. I think that if a chick would absolutely not happen to sack with a random dude when sober, then she probably won't when drunk. Even if I'm drunk, I know what I'm doing. Um, that is a good point, and I think. It really varies from person to person and how much they drink, not that moment, but what is their, you know, threshold where they're fucking, like, some guys can drink 10 beers and walk around like nothing. I drink 10 beers and I'm going to be fucking trying to fucking, you know, tell, you know, black jokes all night, you know, <laughs> which is pretty much what I do on this program. <laughs> But it all depends on what you're, uh, you know, what you can fucking handle. So, it's a good question. It does have some validity to it. But I know that I fuck girls that were drunk that probably wouldn't have fucked me if I didn't meet them drunk in a disco. I, I you know, I don't know. I'm just being honest. Uh, I'm, it's hard to tell. How can I order your magazine? I want to send them to my homies in the joint. Go to uh, Jim Gang. Just go right here. MuscleSportMag.com slash subscribe. Slash subscribe. 
$32 a year, free shipping in the U.S. Free! Free! As long as they're fucking in a joint in the U.S., it's free. Yeah, go to the subscribe page, bro. Jay Cream keeps up with all these modern-day rappers repeating shit constantly. Lil Pump, Lil Pump, Lil Pump. <laughs> when he's talking about Lady Gaga, Keith was telling me, Keith is into it. He's telling me, thanks, I sure... Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Oh, you narcotics. What's up? Some people die the first time they smoke crack. They do nothing still alive. That's only because they couldn't see straight. <laughs> they do get a small nose. You're darn tootin', bro. You drink, Joe. Stop this shit. Everyone knows, Joe. Do you think the world is a fool, Joe? You have kids. Kids watch the show. You can't talk about labia licking. <laughs> He's in the trap rap. Yeah, I do feel that I've gotten over on girls that wouldn't have done it if I bumped into them in the, by the water cooler in the office. Just like guys, they're all happy drunks, angry drunks. Yeah, exactly. But I, a lot of fucking... Uh, J. Jeff, what's up, bro? Would you rather die a virgin or bang a goat? I'd rather bang a goat right now than do the show, so I guess I would rather bang a goat. <laughs> I love goats. Oh, sheep are better, though, actually. <laughs> A goat. It sounds like a girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've never had sex with an animal. A stuffed animal, yes, but not a fucking living, breathing one. <sighs> oh, have you tried a sheep? No. The opportunity. Uh, not many sheeps in Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it really wasn't. <laughs> Cyberfit. You're learning all about training right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking Ron Harris was talking about banging sheeps on the last Ron line. I heard. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> Ron, I don't know if you should talk about that. <laughs> Leave that to Jell. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Joe, I asked Soup if he's blocked you. He said, yes, he's dumb fucker. Why? Because I won't let him on my show to fucking put us all to sleep? <laughs> fuck him. I don't care. I don't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> a dead animal, too. <laughs> yes, well, that's different. That's more of food. I look at it that. Some girls are horny, freaky drunks. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I did know some girls that used to be kind of more reserved. And then once they started fucking pounding some of that shit, you know, they started getting, you know, the woo girls night out. I could imagine owning a farm. <laughs> Put a crystal mask on the sheep. You see that? That now you're thinking, bro. Put a crystal mask on the fucking uh, uh, on the fucking electric socket now. Fuck it. <laughs> How come Ron Harris always interviews people on the odd side? <laughs> because he's a dick. He goes live every 10 seconds. See, I don't see it anymore because he blocked me. Sounds like auto-tune. Johnny Juice, yo, what's up, bro? How the fuck are you, bro? Welcome to Hot Stuff Presents Muscle Sport Radio Special Friday Edition. Yes, who we're working for the weekend. Friday, Friday. Remember that fucking song, Friday, Friday? Is she old enough to fuck that broad now? She was young back then. Uh, <laughs> he keeps strutting his stuff. Who? Who? Fucking soup? <laughs> hey, Tim, what's up there, bro? Tim 2084. 2084 in the house of love. Here we go. Oh, man. So why did Soup block me? Because I won't let him on? You guys voted him down. It's your fault. Would you bang the soup? Hey, hold on. Well, hold on. <laughs> Fucking who gonna close? Would you bang the soup if you cut the head of crystal and stuffed it down soup's throat? <laughs> so you want me to fucking perform fucking rape and murder? <laughs> Two murder charges, because I would probably kill him if I, you know, I had to put the head on his... Who am I, fucking Ed Gain? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes! <laughs> and it, <laughs> If I could get any type of load off with Crystal's head near me, I'm going to go for it. Even if I have to commit capital murder. <laughs> Hooger and is another mother wearing. She wearing a Kim Haynes mask. What a giant strip. <laughs> oh, man. I would be spreading my fucking cheeks. Fucking 
Pooh bug. <laughs> Uh, Libby is up there. What's up, Libby? Uh, Joe's flavor. <laughs> I missed a lot of these things. Joe, what do you think of the whole Robbie Robinson, Jerry Ward? I don't know anything about it. Jerry Ward and Robbie Robinson? I swear, I never fucking heard it. Fellatio. Seems very fitting for MSM, yes. Um, Hogan seeking royalties for MSM t-shirts. Eh, it's not his. It's fucking Vince McMahon. can fucking sue me for it. <laughs> I what is he gonna get out of me? Hey Vince, hey, hey you want this? <laughs> hey, you can have this fucking stupid sheet behind me too. Hey, wipe your dick off with it. <laughs> Come on it. Use it as a cum rig. Robbie will sue Jerry over. Now I heard Robbie Robinson was ill. I didn't know anything about Jerry. Jerry called Robbie out for what? Jerry said, Genova is easier to comprehend. I don't know what's going on, though. Somebody please inform me. Just for the record, Crystal is a cool-ass chick. Yes! And she's hot. <laughs> she's got big cans and a nice ass and lovely muscles and a beautiful face and sweet hair. <laughs> and she smells good, too. <laughs> I smelled her perfume when we were working together. <laughs> I love Miss MSM. <laughs> Asking followers money on Instagram. Now, okay, seventy one grand. So Robbie Robinson put a like a GoFundMe to pay for his medical bills. Is that what that's about? I'm not a big GoFundMe guy. There are reasons for it. And I'm using this I'm not pointing to Robbie because I like Robbie Robinson. He wrote for my magazine. <laughs> I've met him in person. I've interviewed him a million times. Crystal has a nice ass. You're darn dootin', she does. Um, and Robbie Robinson has always been good to me, and I think he's an incredible bodybuilder in his 70s. He looks like he's fucking 30. I mean, he's ripped. What do you think of PJ? Of what? Well, hold on a second. PJ Braxton, Brent. Him. PJ saying breast implants illness is bullshit. What does he mean? Like infections from getting a breast implant? It's... It's fucking, it's true, that happens. Especially if they, if, if, if a breast implant gets punctured, it's really dangerous. I mean, my fucking wife had a double mastectomy. I know a lot about those things. Different styles, different types. And she didn't get certain ones because it's danger of infection. So, if that's what PJ's saying, PJ is very high maintenance. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Jerry called him out. Uh... Robbie threatened to take his Facebook and Instagram, everybody didn't give a dollar. Wait, I, I got to look it up now. So Robbie opened up a GoFundMe to pay for his medical bills. If that, that's correct, then I guess nobody has to call me a dick. <laughs> this is what I'm surmising. Um, so Robbie Robinson does that, and Jerry calls him out. But where does the, which, listen, if you want to give money to a GoFundMe, that's up to you. Nobody says you have to. But what is, I don't understand. Give me, John Morris, tell me a little more about what you said here because I'm confused. Would I get sued by McMahon every year for the rest of your life or have to, oh, hold on a second. God damn motherfucker. I have to, Rod Harris is a co-worker until you're 65. Well, I don't want to fucking go, go broke, so I'll work with Ron. I'll just fucking slap him in the mouth every day. GoFuckMe.com. Yes, I should put that up. <laughs> and just keep emailing it to my wife. <laughs> Lee Priest, 25 buck donation for his film for rewards, like I mentioned in the credits of his film. I don't understand. I'm conf I have to be fucking drunk that Jason Kidd is fucked up. No, it's Jay Cream, baby. We need to start to go fuck me for Genova, unfortunately. No, fuck him. Fuck me. <laughs> Joe, joke for your pal. How do you like your woman, pal? Punch line bear? I don't get it, Gav. How do I like my woman? With my face in there. Cunt, I guess. <laughs> PJ is under the bus lately. That's correct. Rich Piana didn't smile. Oh, don't get me started on that. I still fucking, that pisses me off still to this day. That was completely fucking inappropriate. I don't give a fuck what Jason did. That was fucking douche, chill inducing. And an embarrassment. A friend opened it up. Jerry said Robbie should have way, way more money. 
I'm fucking more confused. <laughs> Thanks for scrolling up, Joe. What? What did I have? What did I miss, bro? Oh, for the Ron Harris. Yeah, I, I work with Ron. I already I worked with him once before, so he wanted every one of his seventy-one thousand followers to pay a dollar. Ward didn't like it, and now they're under his former legend stat. All right, so Robbie Robinson said, "I have seventy-one thousand followers on Instagram." Every one of you guys should pay a dollar for my GoFundMe to help me with my thing. Again, it's if somebody wants to put that money, that's up to them. And almost closed his Instagram due to lack of support from Robbie's followers. See, I'm still confused now. I'm sorry, I'm Italian. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta excuse me, King Robbie. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Who gonna close? Who can't? No, Jerry's a good guy, man. I like Jerry Ward. He writes for the magazine. I'm friends with him. I've met him a bunch of times in person. I like Jerry Ward. Joe is more confused than the Lord's foreign exchange student. <laughs> it's piss. Hey, fat brick, what's up, bro? <laughs> so, but if Jerry called out Ro uh, Robbie Robinson for saying that, I mean, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Somebody could say, hey, I think this GoFundMe shit's bullshit that you're doing. It doesn't mean that somebody else doesn't think it's good. Got to go with meeting up. Hey, Alec, you too, man. Tell me how many loads you dropped this weekend and we'll compare sex stories. Guess what? I can tell you mine now. It's zero. <laughs> King Rob needs 71000 for his new... No, he needs it to fucking for a psychiatrist from all the fucking pain Big Rob caused him. He used to tickle him. I know. How fucking creepy was that, Jay? He's right. Jerry is right because Robbie is 78 years old. King Rob is enjoying life without the sheep blob. <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> how about when he was crying and he was hugging Robbie and you see Robbie's face I used it in my intro for that humanity thing <laughs> Big Rob is a creep yes he is a fucking he is the Joe Biden of the fucking Genova verse <laughs> creepy Uncle Rob <laughs> Uh, so, I'm still fucking stunata with this thing. So, if but did Robbie say, like, if you don't give me a dollar, I'm going to block you or something? Like, that would be dicky. And I, I, don't, I don't think he would do that, because that doesn't really help your cause. You know? Ever Big Rob ever met Soup? No. No. He was pretending to cry. That was, yeah, that was like fucking uh, when Jason was crying about the rich piano thing, and when Johnny Bravo was in the car with him. How about the kitty? Oh, yeah, my God. I love that somebody fucking uh, outed him saying that's a Chicago hospital. It's not the hospital he says he flew to some other fucking state to, with the, the wake-up kid. <laughs> the kid texted his dad. Hey, wait, son, how could you text me? You're supposed to be on life support. <laughs> Kim said she would bang Big Rob. Remember doing the MSM live in Vegas? You were so bummed. <laughs> Biden for president and Big Rob for vice. <laughs> you know what? I might have to vote for them. I might have to go against my hero, Don Trump. <laughs> Big Rob carries boys on the pants of the gym bag. In case Big Rob... <laughs> he, has, he has extras like first grade teachers in a nurse's office. <laughs> My, when my wife does the fucking school nurse in this elementary school, they have, like, the, the extra underwears and little bloomers. <laughs> Crystal for IFBB president. She doesn't even like them. Uh, <clears throat> Lee Priest took PayPal donations on a live stream just to see who would value in his post threw him a couple of bucks since he's hilarious. I, I bet you Lee did it as a half a gag and was like, if you guys want to give me money, I'll take it. You know? <laughs> and I, I think that's funny that you did that because you were like, hey, you know. Yes, talk about creepy Uncle Rob on Fit Chicks Chat tonight with Kim Haynes. <laughs> Dr. Tony you just uh, then, then I'll be back to Asia again for a while again, yeah. Yeah, so you, 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 how many days a year do you travel? You're like a fucking WWE wrestler. You're probably on the fucking road 200 and change days a year, right? Yeah, and for the majority of the last three years, I was 
changing hotels roughly every five days. So you can imagine, wow. even, if, even if I'm in Thailand, I'm changing hotels constantly, just like yeah, living out of a suitcase. Like I don't even unpack the suitcase. Literally living out, not even like as a fucking figure, a figure of speech. Right. Um, so what do you think about what's going on in the fucking uh, in the world there with the supplements and all of that? I mean, I think it's kind of fucking horseshit. Who cares if it's spiked, you know? Well, the problem is that the, the government it wants to try to make people okay with the rights away. do is they put all this negative press out that is exaggerating the situation, making things seem more dangerous than they are, just trying to put a negative spin on everything so that when they come back to take our freedom away, there's not riots. And unfortunately, it works. They use words like spike or, you know, they act like they act like a supplement company is deceiving the consumer when the truth is the supplement company and the consumer are on the same page. Team, yep. Good. It's the government that comes in and tries to drive a wedge between the two and make this make the consumer seem bad for wanting to use these supplements and made the supplement company seem bad for providing it when really all these supplements, even the ones that are banned, even a lot of most of the illegal drugs, have a lot of health benefits, a lot of performance benefits, and allow us to transcend our genetic potential if they're used correctly and we can get the information out, but then the information gets censored also. So it's an uphill battle. It really is, and it's like... They try to fucking, you know, they took away the pro-hormones and the SARMs and all of the peptides. And I lost a lot of companies that were advertising with me because they got fucked. And, you know, so it hurt my bottom line. So I, to me, it's like, Jesus Christ. I mean, technically, testosterone is legal, but they're making these pro-hormones fucking illegal. So it's kind of ass backwards, man. Yeah. I mean, it, all our food is spiked with estrogen and so many chemicals react like estrogen in the body and yet it's not okay to take something that helps rebalance our estrogen so now we are artificially estrogenic and artificially a bunch of feminine fe more feminine men than we should be and we're not allowed to correct that to get us to a more natural more masculine state it's almost like a conspiracy to feminize america and then therefore we voluntarily give up our freedom it's the left, Tony. We got to get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking left is killing everything, even bodybuilding. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, shit, man. You got a lot of people. Greetings from Latvia. I see a lot of people jumping in. Uh, and Craig Ooh. Elias, dad. So I, hi to Craig. He was uh, on our cover a couple of years ago, which was a pretty fucking cool cover. I love the way that one came out. So. Um, so what else is going on with you, with your company? Go ahead, man. Feel free to plug away, Tom. Yeah, more more uh, fat loss centric stuff. So um, working on the fat loss program, the educational program, uh, fat loss supplements, uh, and then I'm going to be doing some shredding down myself. So this will be the before. Oh yeah, still I got that stubborn fat right there, but I'm going to get <laughs> super shredded and dry and hard and vascular on my Facebook uh, or my Instagram. I was posting. But I got that stubborn oh, fat. froze. He was coming in beautiful. Oh, he's freezing. Don't freeze. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm hoping you guys can see him because he's freezing up on me something fierce. If anyone could advise, up oh, my drop, Tony, you froze up and then dropped, so I'm sorry, but thank you so much for joining in. And Tony's going to uh, to Thailand on Monday. And congrats to Tony and Baby Mama Number Two. I think that's pretty fucking cool. Uh, that the Baby Mama One and Two, I guess there's no issues because he didn't try to hide that. I mean, it's pretty open. But Tony Huge is a fucking really good guy. His videos are hysterical, and he's great. He's in person. I've, I've had the pleasure of meeting him twice um, over the last, like, two years, I guess. And it's going to be a lot of fucking fun. Utah FitCon. Yes, we will be there at the Muscle Sport Mag fucking booth. 
Yes. So if you are going to the Salt Lake City, please come by the MSM booth in the arm wrestling section. I will have lots of information on that in the next uh, few days because we are flying out on Friday, the 12th. Crystal and Kim always have my support, always muscle support, Mag too. Thank you, Gav Garten Six. You're the best, my friend. And you post a lot of pictures of hot conti ass. But me and Kim are going to be at the uh, Utah FitCon. My buddy Peter Mills, uh, who's providing me with this fucking booth, we're going to be doing a lot of cool shit with him um, with, uh, with the things that he does. He's a real businessman. He's not in the industry, if you will. Um, and uh, we're going to be in the arm wrestling section. So there won't be like booth number one, two, three. If you go to the arm wrestling section, just look for fucking Kim's ass. <laughs> You'll fucking find him. Wish I could be there, my bro. Oh, Nucky, what's up, buddy? How the fuck are you, dude? But thanks again for fucking Dr. Tony Huge for joining us today on MSR. Um, I'm hoping I could run into Tony. I guess hopefully he'll be at the Olympia. Uh, that'll be a um, long summer before then. Uh, if we can do that Chicago Fit Expo. I'm not sure which ones Tony goes to, but I've seen him at the Olympia and the LA Fit Expo. And... Um, uh, I, was he at the Arnold? Crystal, did we? I'm so, I'm so fucking burnt. I'm so burnt. But we got uh, probably about a minute or two left in this show. I got cut off. The fucking thing just like fucking slapped me yesterday without even giving me a countdown. So I want to say goodbye in case I get fucking rudely cut off by the Instagram robot. But thank you so much for joining us today on Hot Stuff Presents. Muscle Sport Radio, somebody wants to come in live, I'll let them say goodbye because we're going to be cut off any minute. But Muscle Sport Radio, uh, I'll let you guys know when I'm doing the next episode, if it's Monday or Tuesday. Back to damn work. Yo, what's up, bro? We're going to be cut off in about a minute. So if, you, uh, if you're if you on, talk to me. Actually, yeah, hi, bro. Yeah, hi, bro. I just have a question regarding the use of the steroids. So go ahead. how does it work? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, please go ahead. 